Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Mr. Zaman and today I'll talk about Using painkillers alongside hormonal contraception increases risk of blood clot in women shows a large study. A large Danish study published by the BMJ recently found that women who use non-steroidal anti-inflammatory painkillers alongside hormonal contraception appear to be at a small increased risk of blood clots known as venous thromboembolism or VTE. The risk was greater in women using combined oral contraceptives containing third or fourth generation progestins, but smaller in women using progestin only tablets, implants and coils alongside the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs NSAIDs, ibuprofen, diclofenac and naproxen. The researchers used national medical records to track first-time diagnosis of venous thromboembolism among 2 million women aged 15 to 49 years living in Denmark between 1996 and 2017 with no history of blood clots, cancer, hysterectomy or fertility treatment. Hormonal contraception was divided into high, medium and low risk according to their association with VTE based on previous studies. High-risk hormonal contraception included combined estrogen and progestin patches, vaginal rings and pills containing either 50 microgram estrogen or third or fourth generation progestins. Medium-risk contraception included all other combined oral contraceptives and the medroxy progesterone injection, while progestin-only tablets, implants and hormone intrauterine devices or coils were classed as low or no risk. Over an average 10-year monitoring period, 8,710 venous thromboembolic events occurred and 228, that is 2.6% of women died within 30 days of their diagnosis. In absolute terms, NSAID's use was associated with 4 extra venous thromboembolic events per week per lakh women not using hormonal contraception, 11 extra events in women using medium risk hormonal contraception and 23 extra events in women using high risk hormonal contraception. Among individual NSAIDs, the association was strongest for diclofenac compared with ibuprofen and naproxen. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.